everybody. This is Annie B and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time to my channel, thank you so much for watching and please consider subscribing for upcoming videos. Now, if you are a subscriber already, thank you so much for watching. And I would like to say a special thank you for those new subscribers that just recently came on board. And because of you, you have pushed me a little over 500 subscribers. Thank you. <laughs> now, 500, I know, is not that many subscribers to some of you guys because some of you guys got thousands and thousands of subs uh, subscribers. And that is fantastic. That is awesome. So I guess if I put myself out there and I could one day be like the big guys too. <laughs> but now I just want to say, if you hear any noise in the background, I'm sorry. My husband is outside cutting the grass and then he said that is, this is it for the year. So he's really good at doing the yard and it's, and I'd like to reward him when he does the uh, yard by getting in there cooking. <laughs> And I always fix him a fantastic meal when he does that kind of work because it is a job as well when you're out there cutting the yard. And then there is something going out on in a military base. My house is kind of banked up toward a military base and we get to hear and see a lot of stuff out there. So let me just apologize if you hear some noise, but uh, other than my chatter. But uh, let's get back at the task at hand. And as I stated, this month's theme is Autumn Horizon. So let's get started and I'll show you the items that I made. Now, but before I show you the items that I made, because I was able to get, uh, I made four necklaces, four bracelets, and four pairs of earrings. And look what I have left over. I have a lot of things left over. And I can build my stash up and I can make more beads, well, make more jewelry from all of this. And I'm just so surprised, you know, each time I make something and I get my monthly, well, when I get my monthly subscription and I make something and I have all of these uh, items left over, it is just so amazing. So uh, the uh, bargain bead box, they really, really are generous with their uh, supplies. And as you can see, look at all this, what I have. And I noticed this month we got a lot of silver. And it seems like I'm missing some pe Ah, I'm missing the toggle clasp. I, I think they just sent two sets and I used both of those up in a project and I'll show that to you later. later. But these are really great. We I had all of these left over. Now I love this. This is um I think they call this a it's a peach jade magma. I think that's what it is. And I don't know if you've noticed in my little in my little container here, I always label my bees and I always put a little tab on it. And it, as you can see, it says uh, bargain bee box and it's October 2020. And on the flip side of that, I always put the number down here so I can always go back and refer to it if I want to possibly order this again or know the exact name for this uh, color or type of bead. So that kind of helped me out a little bit. But yeah, I have all of this stuff left and I am going to make me a bracelet from this piece here. That's that, um, what are this? Uh, oh God, it's on the tip of my tongue, but it's kind of, I think it's some type, kind of denim, some kind of denim blue bead and these are really gorgeous and they're sparkly and I'll show them to you because I used them in one of my own in one of my necklaces. So hang on a sec and let's get started with my designs. Okay what you're looking at here is necklace number one. Now to make this piece I use a Coriolan chain. I use those maple leaves and these are really gorgeous. They are so so pretty and I also use the uh, those little denim blue bees and they are so pretty and I wire wrap the maple leaf with some gold bees to the necklace and I had some eight millimeter gold bees that I put on here just to give it a little accent and I use a um, accordion to connect that um, uh, curry on a chain and I made a matching pair of earrings also using the gold bees so this is necklace number one and I think it is cute. Okay, what you're looking at now is necklace number two and I think this is a cute set. Now to make this set, I pulled from my stash. 
when I got this piece here in one of the boxes, I didn't know what to do with it. And I just put it aside. And when I got my October bargain B box, and this just came to mind. So therefore, you know, you, you may not use all your pieces at one time, but eventually you will use them up. And um, I used this large leaf that came from my stash and I wire wrapped uh, some of those bright uh, red and orange agus round beads. And I uh, added them to this leaf and I use a, I wanted to kind of soften it up a little bit. And I used this, uh, some wooden beads that I had. And I actually glued this on because I did not want it to move about. So I just attached it to that uh, along with all, the, and I wire wrapped all of these beads. Now, in looking at this, this is light as a feather. And I am really shocked just looking at it. You might think that it has some weight to it, but it does not. So I added uh, one of those orangey beads there and I got the, um, using the silver tone here and I used the silver chain and I used the lobster clasp and, and I made this set right here. And this is gorgeous. I love this set here. I showed this to my daughter and I think she likes this. So I am going to give it to her. And if she sees this, if she see this video, she's going to call me and say, all right, Ma, I'm coming over and I'm going to pick it up. So I wouldn't know she watched my videos. But this is necklace and um, earring set number two. Okay, what you're looking at now is set number three. And this here is too cute too. <laughs> and to make this piece, of course, I use the Coriana chain. I use the... Um, the green jade shimmer beads and I wire wrap. I do like wire wrapping. I'm going to wire wrap everything because if I wire wrap it, it's not going to come apart at all. And I also wire wrapped a single bead in the middle. That's that little single loop right there. You know, I don't, if you notice, I just use one color and this, the green and the silver and this detail on this chandelier piece here, it really, really, I don't know, it just brings it out. And it really pops to me, just one color. And what I did was, as I said, stated, I used a Coriana chain. But what I think I'm going to do is the, um, I think I'm going to go back and put a crimp cover over the, um, over the little crimp tube that I have here because it just looks so much better instead of having that little flat B there. Although it's tiny, but I think it would look so much prettier. But this turned out very well. This is a lovely piece here. Just look at it. It just got, it just got everything going for itself. This is really pretty. And I use those bumpy, bumpy spacer and it kind of, it goes with the texture of the uh, chandelier piece here. And I think this is so pretty and of course I made a pair of earrings this is your basic earrings and but this is pretty these are just so cute and they got that little shaking motion going with them and everything because you want your little earrings to dangle <laughs> so that is necklace set and earrings number three okay now this is necklace and earrings number four now the earrings of course did the this piece, this uh, um, earring, uh, these pieces right here did not come in the box. This was something that I already had in my stash. So I thought it just went so well with this piece right here. Now, I wore this set doing a Zoom class that I had and <laughs> I actually got some compliments on it. So this is a cute set. And uh, as you can see now for this set, I used the, um, that, um, 30 millimeter the filigree round pendant piece here and what I did was I had a I found a bead in my stash that similar matched it and I wire wrapped the bead cap on it and it kind of build it up a little bit and I made this piece here it's a simple piece but it is so nice and it is so pretty and I know it's pretty because I got a lot of compliments on it in my zoom class <laughs> You know, like I said, this piece, these, uh, this earring find in here, this piece, I've had it for a few years and um, it to me, it just matched this piece right here. It is so pretty. Now, I did not wear this during the Zoom class because I think it's a little bit more fancier. 
<laughs> but I did wear the necklace in my Zoom class and it is pretty. This is a pretty pendant. I like this. So that is necklace number four. And let me show you the bracelets that I made. Okay, what you're looking at is bracelet number one. And to make this piece, I use the eight millimeter cornelium round beads. I use the 10 millimeter cracker, crack, crackle agate round beads. And I have some um, cube beads, wooden beads in my stash. So I think it, it really broke up all that orangey orange uh, that was going on with the beads. And of course, I used those toggle class, the silver toggle class. This is one set that came in the box. And I made this, um, this bracelet right here. And all my bracelets are usually seven and a half inch with, uh, in length. So I think this is pretty nice. I don't really, really care for crackle bead, but you know, for some reason, you know, you're getting a lot of them, but I think this turned out quite well. So this is bracelet number one. This is uh, bracelet number two, and for this piece, I wire wrapped uh, the green jade bead, uh, the corn beads together uh, with the silver link, and I made this bracelet here. And I also use the, um, I used a large floral clasp that I had in my, uh, well, uh, toggle uh, clasp that I had in my stash here. And I made this piece right here. And I think this turned out really, really nice. I was going to make a pair of matching earrings with because I have two, two of these beads left over. But it's, it's not double-sided. So I really didn't want to bother with it since it wasn't double-sided. But I made this uh, link bracelet and I wire wrap it. And I tell you, this is not coming apart. <laughs> I think something with the wire problem would break it by... Uh, you know, but I don't think it's just going to come apart like that. But this is a nice sturdy piece and it's cute. And I like this uh, lobster clasp here. It is really, really nice on this piece. So it looks nice on your wrist, you know, when it started turning around. So this is, this is number two. Now this is bracelet number three. And as you can see, it's, it's all orangey. <laughs> And to make bracelet number two, I used the five millimeter bright red orange agate bead. I used the eight millimeter um, uh, carnelian uh, round beads. And I also used some of those bumpy silver spacers in the middle here to make this piece here. And I think it turned out quite well. And I used a uh, toggle clasp that I had in my stash. And I used... Um, some beading thread this time instead of beading wire. I don't know how long this will hold up, so we will see. I'll probably give this to my daughter, so if it come apart, which I don't think it will, <laughs> she'll let me know. But I made this piece here, and I think it's cute. This is a pretty piece right here. It's simple, it's lightweight, and it is very nice. So that is number three. Okay, as you can see, I com this is completely, I, I, this, this is not autumn <laughs> at all. This doesn't go with the theme at all. But I think I kind of OD'd on all those orangey colors. So I was looking at those bumpy spacer and you can never go wrong with a pair of pearls. I had some um, eight millimeter Swarovski's of cream rose pearls in my stash. And I used some of those bumpy spacers to make this very simple piece here. And I made a little dangle here with those texture chain as well. And I made this gorgeous, timeless bracelet. And it is so cute. So you can wear this on any little fancy occasion that you may go on. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, this dangle part here you always got to have a dangle and it um, uh, and I used a smaller pearl on that dangle right there and that is the end of the items that I made and um, like I said I hope you enjoyed the items that I made and hopefully perhaps you will come back and well and some good news you know it's the election is over with by the time you uh, see this video maybe we'll know who our president is and Oh, I'm so glad all those commercials are over with. And but you know, we going now into open enrollment for Medicare. <laughs> we are getting ready to be inundated with all those Medicare commercials and Christmas commercial. All of those gonna coincide together. But whew, 
I'm just so glad all this politics and stuff will soon be over. And pretty soon we'll know who our president is. So everybody be safe and uh, be careful out there and take care. And I will see you the next time. Take care now. Bye-bye. Okay, now that is the end of my video and um, hang on just a sec and I will give you an overview of the photographs that I uh, took of the pictures to give you a clearer vision of how they look. So thank you guys again for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I think I'm supposed to do a giveaway at 500 subscribers. So that will be coming. That is on the horizon. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all take care now. All right. Hang on just a sec.